So now let us try to multiply a trinomial with another trinomial. Let's see how fast you can do it now. I'm giving you 10 seconds and your time starts now. Time is up. The correct answer would be 6x raised to the power of 4, 2x cube and 12x cube would be 14x cube and then 2x square, 4x square, 9x square would be 15x square and this would be 4x and 3x that is 7x and the last term would be 3 1 times is 3. So the answer would be 6x raised to the power of 4 plus 14x cube plus 15x square plus 7x plus 3. Now, even I'm very eager to check out the answer. So, let's see if it's right. There you go. 6x raised to the power 4 plus 14x cubed plus 15x squared plus 7x plus 3. So, I'm sure that this time you must have got at least the first term and the last term and some of the middle terms, if not all. Or did you get the entire thing? Well, if you got all the terms, then simply you're doing a brilliant job. Keep it up. If you did not get it, not to worry at all because you know in next few minutes you will be able to get it. Now, as you already know that getting the first term and the last term of the answer is very easy. You just have to multiply the first term with the first term to get the first term of the answer. 2, 3 times is 6 and x square times x square would be x raised to the power 4. So it would be 6 x raised to the power 4 and last term would be 3 times 1 is 3. The only thing is that, that here there will be three more terms in the middle. So I'm leaving three blank spaces. And you know it's the same old technique, rainbow multiplication. But we'll be doing it thrice. This would be the first middle term. And this would be the middle middle term. And this would be the last middle term. Now as you already know, to get the first middle term, we would be doing the rainbow multiplication with the first two terms of this trinomial and the first two terms of this trinomial. That is, that we are going to ignore this, the last term. So, this would be 2x cube and add to that the product of this. That is, for this is a 12x cube. So, 2x cube plus 12x cube would be 14x cube. We have the first middle term. Now, to get the last middle term, all you have to do is do the rainbow multiplication with the last two terms of this trinomial. That is, ignore the first terms. So, this would be 4x plus 3x. That is, 7x. Now, getting the middle middle term is very simple. That is, that you have to do the rainbow multiplication with all these terms. That's a perfect rainbow. So, 2x square. This would be 4x square. And add to that, 9x square. So, it would be 15x square. That's it. This is our final answer. See? In just one step, we could multiply a trinomial with a trinomial. And the best part is that you can also very quickly verify your answer. That is, double check it. So, do the operations on the coefficient. 2 plus 4 is 6. 6 plus 3 is 9. Times 3 plus 1 is 4. 4 plus 1 is 5. So, 9 times 5 is 45. So, if these coefficients of our answer, they add up to 45, then our answer is absolutely correct. 6 plus 14 is 20. 20 plus 15 is 35. 35 plus 7 is 42. 42 plus 3 is right. 45. See? It's absolutely correct. One thing interesting to note is that, that how the powers are gradually decreasing. See, first it was 4, then it became 3, then it became 2. Here there's an invisible power, so that is 1. And here the entire term, the x, the variable, became invisible. That means the power must have been 0. So now I'm sure that you must be really eager 
to test out your skills on another question. So here comes another question for you. Using the same easy cal trick, can you multiply this three digit number with this three digit number? I'm sure you can. So give it a try. Multiply the first digits to get the first digits of the answer. 2, 6 times is 12. Leave 3 blank spaces. Multiply the last digits to get the last digit. 1 times 3 is 3. Now to get the first middle digit, you have to do the rainbow multiplication between the first two digits. So 2, 2 times is 4. 3, 6 times is 18. 18 plus 4 is 22. To get the middle middle digit, do the rainbow multiplication with all the three digits. So 2, 3 times is 6 and 3, 2 times is 6. 6 plus 6 is 12 and add to that 1 times 6 is 6. 12 plus 6 is 18. Now the last middle digit. Do the rainbow with the last two digits. So 3 times 3 is 9 and 1 times 2 is 2. 9 plus 2 is 11. That's it. Add all these numbers. It would be 14, 3, 9, 1, 3. That is, in few steps, you have multiplied a three-digit number with another three-digit number. Here is the answer. So this is actually the best part of using these easy cal tricks. That is, that same trick can be used in so many situations. That is, I'm using the rainbow multiplication to multiply a binomial with a binomial, a binomial with a trinomial, a trinomial with a trinomial, and we can go beyond that. Not a problem at all. You are seeing the pattern now. And not only that, we are not only doing the algebraic operation, but the normal number crunching, like multiplication of a two-digit number with a two-digit number, a two-digit number with a three-digit number, a three-digit number with a three-digit number, can be done with the same trick. So you can be happy about it. That is, you need to learn only one trick, and that is good enough to solve so many questions for you. Let us just quickly revise what we have learned up to so far. All right? See, to multiply a binomial with a binomial, you just have to multiply the first term with the first term to get the first term of your answer. Leave a blank space, multiply the last term with the last term to get the last term of your answer. And the middle space, as you know, will be always filled by the rainbow multiplication. All right. Outsides with the outsides and inners with the inners and add them. Similarly, to multiply a binomial with a trinomial, just multiply the first term with the first term to get the first term of your answer. Now leave two blank spaces which are going to be filled by the rainbow multiplication. To get the last term, multiply the last terms together. And using the same logic, you know that what you need to do to multiply a trinomial with another trinomial. Multiply the first term with the first term to get the first term of your answer. Now leave three blank spaces. There will be three middle terms. Multiply the last term with the last term to get the last term of your answer. That's it. And as you know, that this exact same pattern would be used to multiply a two-digit number with another two-digit number, a two-digit number with a three-digit number, a three-digit number with a three-digit number. As simple as that.